there's trash in the ocean. And so this is part of a project called, I don't know if you could guess it, Team Seas. It's a pretty big deal. And if you remember a couple years ago, there was a Team Trees project, uh, which was to raise money to plant trees. This is similar, but it's up for the sea. And the idea is to raise money, $30 million, before January 1st, to get 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean, out of the ocean. There's a lot of trash in the ocean. There's a lot of plastic. The plastic never goes away. Plastic's really great uh, in a lot of ways because it's cheap and durable and lasts forever, but it's bad because it's cheap, so it's, there's a lot of it, and it's durable, so it never goes away. And that's one of the problems, but the other trash too. And it's not just the ocean because everything that's in the rivers ends up in the ocean. The beaches too. So this is $30 million to get 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. And so if you want to contribute, you can go to teamseas.org and donate to, get, to raise $30 million. Um, and so it's 30 million pounds. Actually, this is backwards. Look at that. It's $30 million for pounds, which is weird because pounds is, okay. Uh, and so all this money, 100% goes to these two uh, groups, the Ocean Conservancy, Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup. And the idea is every dollar removes one pound of trash. But now what am I going to do? I want to use this as an opportunity to do a back of the, the envelope calculation. And I'm going to make some estimations and try to see if you did take 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean and the beaches and the rivers and you made a big pile of it, what would that pile look like? I don't, know, I don't even know the answer. So we're just going to do this off the top of my, top of my head. Uh, now I am going to look up a couple things. Um, I'm going to make some estimations. But, but that's what we do in a, numer in a, in a back of the envelope calculation. That's what makes it so great. Um, a true back of the com envelope calculation, I would just completely guess stuff. But I'm going to look some things up. So let's start with uh, the mass of trash, which is actually a weight, but that's fine. Mass T equals 30 times 10 to the sixth pounds. Now, I don't want to deal with pounds, but it's, it's okay. Um, you know, w one of the things is if I want to see if it's piled up, I need to know the density of trash. So density is going to be the mass divided by the volume. Uh, and and you know, I could just go with plastic. I could just use a rough estimate of, and let's call this rho. Rho, yeah, they only have one density. Um, I could just go with maybe about the density of water, even though I'm pretty sure if it's a lot of the stuff floats, right? You have plastic, uh, metal, paper, um, and things like that. So but what I want to think about is my own trash. So here is my kitchen trash bag and it's full of trash. And so if this is a sphere, it's not, then it has a radius of let's say, you know, the the diameter would maybe be be about about that much. I'm just I'm thinking I'm thinking 20 centimeters, so let's say R equals uh, 0.2 meters. I think that's reasonable. We're going to, this is approximation, right? It's okay. And the mass of that, the weight actually, I'm thinking, you know, 5 to 10 pounds. So I'll need to convert this to uh, kilograms. I want to do everything in kilograms. So let's, I, f I forget the, the conversion factor. Let me just look it up real quick. Um, one pound, Google's great for this one pound in kilograms. So technically pounds is a unit of force, kilograms is a unit of mass, but one pound on earth is equal to 0 0.454 kilograms. Yeah, so that's force and that's mass. Um, they're not the same thing. Uh, on earth there's a proportionality constant for that. So. Uh, the unit of mass in the English system is the slug. The unit of force in the in the metric system would be the newton. Okay, so I can use this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down. I'm not gonna calculate. I'm gonna switch over to Python to do my calculation um, to get the density of trash. So let's say rho is gonna be the mass of my k 
kitchen trash divided by the volume of my kitchen trash. So I, I need this. So the mass of kitchen is going to be equal to, let's go with seven. Seven pounds. And then I want to convert that to kilograms. So I know that uh, 0 0.454 kilograms is equal to one pound. And the pounds cancel. So I'll get seven times 0.454 kilograms of trash. So about 3.5 kilograms. Okay, so that's my mass. The volume is the volume of a sphere. So it's going to be mk over the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi rb. Let's call that r for the bag. rb cubed. So that's going to be my density of trash. And I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. So now let's say I have a mass of trash of 30 times 10 to the 6 pounds. So let's get that in mt equals 30 times 10 to the 6th pounds times, again, I'm going to convert it the same way, uh, 0.454 kilograms divided by 1 pound. And that cancels. So now I have the mass of trash. And with that, I can get the volume of trash. So the volume of trash is going to be equal to the uh, mass of trash divided by the density of trash. So that's going to be equal to uh, 30 times 10 to the 6 times 0.454 kilograms divided by, I'll just leave that as rho, that's some number. Okay, now I'm going to get that. That's going to be my volume of trash. And if I want to make that into a pile, let's say that I make it into a pile that looks like this. It's a cube. And that's the ground. So if, if it's a perfect cube, uh, let's say it has a height of h, so the volume would be equal to h cubed. So I can solve for the height of that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we have all our values. I'm going to switch over to Python and we can calculate this stuff up and see what happens. So, switching over, here we go. Uh, this is, uh, if you're not familiar with GlowScript, this is GlowScript. It's an uh, online implementation of Python uh, so that we can do it right in the web page. So let's just start putting in our constants here. I'm going to write down uh, the mass of trash, uh, mt, I'll use, I'll use capital M, mt equals 30 times 10 to the 6, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by 0 0.454, and that's going to give me my uh, mass in kilograms. I'm going to put a comment there as a kilogram. Okay, now I'm going to say the mass of my kitchen, mk, kitchen trash, is, what did I say, 7 times 0 0.454 kilograms. Uh, the density of trash, I'll just call that rho, is going to be mk divided by 4 thirds, so let's see, let's just say 3 times mk divided by 4 times pi times, oh, I need that up here, rb equals 0 0.2 meters rb cubed. And I want to go ahead and print this out because I want to know if I get a reasonable value for that. So let's print uh, density of trash row. And let's put the units kilograms per cubic meter. And I'll give you the code for this if you want. Okay. Ooh. That is not good. That's very low, right? I was thinking it'd be, you know, the density of water is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter, and this is way less than that. Um, maybe I overestimated my 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 size. So let's see. If I have a trash bag of that wide, that's 50 centimeters. Seven pounds, three fourths pi r cubed, or four thirds, four thirds pi r cubed, four thirds pi r cubed is the volume. 
Hmm. Well, I guess I could just pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's strange. Uh, 7 pounds in kilograms. Let's just, let's just double check that. 7 pounds in kilograms. It's 3 pounds. That's right. Okay. So I did that right. That times that. RB, 20 centimeters. Convert to meters. Okay, well, maybe this is a low estimate. I'm okay with that. Um, let's just proceed. Uh, let's go with the highest value up here of 10. Uh, 10 pounds for the bag of trash. And then, okay, I, I feel, I feel, I'm feeling better. I think that's okay. One, and that would, so you took, let's imagine if you took that bag and you dropped it in the water, would it float if it didn't leak? Yeah, it should float very, very easily. And, and that's true. I mean, we've got a lot of papers, styrofoam, plastics, and stuff like that. So I think it's, I think it's okay. Okay, what are we going to calculate next? Um, I need the volume of trash. That's all I need to do. So I can say volume, capital V, T, is going to be equal to the mass of the trash divided by rho. Print. I don't really need that either. I can calculate H equals uh, VT to the one-third power. Print. Uh, height of trash cube. H meters. Let's see what happens. So 46 meters, that's not that big. Well, I mean 46 meters for 30 million pounds. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think we like to think of uh, that's a lot of trash. 46 meters, so 200 feet tall cube of trash out of the ocean. Now, but here's the problem. Let's say this trash floats, because my trash floats, and I spread it over the ocean. Uh, what would the, the trash density, mass density, sur linear surface area density of trash be on the surface of the Earth? So let me switch back over to the paper here. Okay, so I have some trash. I have 30 million pounds of trash. Um, well, I have a volume of trash, but I need to spread. I need to spread it. I need to spread it in terms of mass, because I can't. Sp I can't use my calculated volume to find unless I pick a thickness. If I pick a thickness, then I can do volume to volume. I can't do volume to surface area. Let's do that. Let's say that all this trash is within um, the top five centimeters. Okay, so here we have this. This is the earth, R. Uh, and then I have a volume of trash of, what did I count? I didn't calculate that. Let's just say it's some volume of trash. Now I want to spread that trash uniformly over the surface of the earth. And I want to calculate how much trash per cubic meter, what the density of trash would be, the trash density. Uh, of course, this is spread over the oceans. So the oceans, I think, is 80%. So ocean is 80%. Let me look that up real quick. Percent of Earth ocean. 71%. Actually, it wasn't too bad. And let me look up the radius of the Earth. I know it's something times 10 to the 6. I think it's 5 point... Uh, it's 6.2 radius of the Earth in meters. It is 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. So I want to calculate the volume of this. I don't need that. I don't need that volume. I just need the mass. I'm going to calculate the volume of the shell. Now, since this is, we'll call that D equals 0 0.05 meters, it's very, very small compared to the radius of the Earth. I'm actually going to just unroll this whole thing and make it just like a square. So the 
depth of that will be d, and this will, will be the area of a sphere. So a equals uh, 4 pi r squared. That's the surface area of a sphere. So now I'm going to say rho ocean is going to be the mass, mass of the trash, divided by this volume, which is going to be 4 pi r squared, all of that times d. Okay, and that will be the the density of trash. Okay, let's let's put that in the calculator. So go back over to Python. Okay, so I'm gonna say, oops, I'm gonna say the radius of the Earth r is 6.37 times 10 to 6. I'm going to say, oh, I need the percent too. Uh, P O is the percent of ocean is 0 0.71, and because I need to multiply that by my volume of the surface of the Earth, so rho O that's the density of trash in the ocean, the top percent is going to be the mass of the trash, so mt, which I've already calculated, divided by uh, PO times 4 times pi, pi times r squared times d. I'll put the d over here. And let's print that out. Print ocean trash density. And it'd be rho O in kilograms per cubic meter. And let's run that. And, oh, something happened. Can't find D. Didn't give it. D equals 0 0.05, 5 centimeters. Okay, so you see that it's super, super, super low. If you, if you got uh, a cubic meter of water, you would just have a tiny amount of trash in there if that 30 million was spread over the whole thing. But there's way more trash than that. Okay. But that's how you would calculate the, the density of the, if you spread that one third, if you took 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean and you evenly got it from all over the place, that's how much trash per cubic meter you would take out. I mean, the ocean's really big. Okay. So that are, that's some estimation problems uh, for team C's. Uh, I'm going to make another video. I'm going to keep making some more. I'm going to try to use a lot of good physics examples to do this. Uh, but, but go to teamseeds.org, donate, and get some trash out of the ocean.